welcome back to our channel ladies and gentlemen there is a very big rift within the UDA party and the differences between William Ruto and Rigedi Gashagwa continues to widen by the day this time round the cause for their difference is this announcement that was made in Nyeri the very home county of Rigedi Gashagwa <laughs> Wanachama wote wa UDA tunaenda kufanya uchaguzi December. Sina namna hiyo? Kwa sababu wenye chama lazima waamue ni nani wataongoza chama yao. Hii ni chama ya serikali. Na hawa wenye walitengeneza wali serikali wanataka kupanga mambo yao ya chama yao. Yeye mko tayari kupanga watu wa chama? Mungu tayari kupanga wana, wana wataongoza chama? Mungu tayari? Ndio mimi nataka nitangaze nikiwa hapa Nyeri kwa wanachama wote wa UDA mahali popote walipo. Uchaguzi ni Disemba na tunaanza pale kwa polling station. Kwa sababu tunataka kuhakikisha ya kwamba chama ni institution ya governance na ili iwe institution ya governance lazima tuipange vizuri na wenye chama waamue ni nani wataongoza chama yao na ndio sababu mimi nataka niwaambie viongozi wote kama wewe unataka kuwa mwana, kama wewe unataka kuwa kiongozi katika chama ya UDA anza pale kwa polling station kujipange na wanachama hakuna mtu atapatiwa kiti kwa meza hakuna mtu atapatiwa kiti kwa mapendeleo wanachama ndio wataamua pale kwa polling station tumekubaliana Ninyi mtashindwa kuamua nani atakuwa chama na chama pale kwa polling station. Si mko tayari? Mko tayari? Kwa sababu tunataka kuondoa ukabila kabisa katika siasa ya Kenya. Now, after this announcement, there emerged two camps. The camp that supports William Ruto and the other camp that supports Rigathi Gashagwa. Now, the Rigathi Gashagwa team feels that elections should not take place now they feel it is too soon and they are pushing for the elections to take place somewhere by next year because they feel that there are, that there are a lot of things that they need to talk about internally and they eye on their differences before they go for the grassroots elections but the William Ruto camp feels that whatever it is people must go for grassroots elections and those who want to move those who want to go away have the freedom to go away they don't want to push these elections because they say that when elections are done uh, towards the tail end of elections this can divide the party and this assertion was made by William Ruto during the national governing council in Bomas my third assignment katika hii mkutano ni tukubaliane mambo ya uchaguzi wa chama. Eh, mimi naona hapo ndio mmenyamaza. Hapo kwa uchaguzi. <laughs> hapo kwa uchaguzi my friends. Tunaelewana? Nyinyi mnajua hii chama tulifanya ukarabati madakika ya mwisho. Si ndio? Mungu akatusaidia tukafaulu. Tuka Sasa sisi wote hapa hata mimi kama party leader hakuna mtu amenichagua ndio mimi niko tu hapa rigiji yako area tu hivi hivi hawa watu wote hata hii malala sijui research hata sasa anasema asante sana nimepatiwa nafasi lakini wenye chama wajasema sasa watakuja kusema si ndio eh lazima tukubali my friends hii chama iko na wenyewe na wenyewe lazima waseme tunaelewana so na nasikia watu wengi wanasema sijui maybe this is not the right time maybe tungepungojea maybe tungepanga siku nyingine hapana this is the time hatuwezi kufanya uchaguzi ya chama kama uchaguzi inakaribia ile ya national sita tukoroga sasa heri saa hii eh kama kina umana kiumane saa hii ndio tujue vile ya kujipanga ama namna gani yes wacha wenye chama waseme maneno na kila mtu hapa ujipange. Hakuna mtu atapatiwa kiti kwa sahani. Kila mtu ataenda kujipanga. Na usiseme Ruto ndio rafiki yangu ama Rigiji ndio rafiki yangu hapana. 
tafuta urafiki na wanachama huko nyumbani kila mtu hata mimi nitafuata hawa huko nyumbani sio kama tunaelewana ladies and gentlemen the rigadi camp feels that they have been pushed to the periphery and rigadi kashago is not given time to be part and parcel of the arrangement of the grassroots elections in fact that is the reason why today rigadi kashago rushed to the party uda party offices to meet the national steering committee and in that meeting he chaired malal who is the secretary general attended that meeting cecil barwire who is the chairperson attended that meeting samson chirargai attended the meeting and of course kimani chungwa the majority leader was there and uh, the treasurer jafet nyakundi was also there and sources indicate that rigadi gashagwa wanted to be incorporated in the arrangement and planning of the coming elections because they feel they are left out now the biggest part and the most delicate part that is widening this rift is the post of the secretary general now the rigadi camp feels that Cleopas Malala is not the right person to be the secretary general because they feel that Cleopas Malala is a journey come late and he also comes from an eth an ethnic group that did not give William Ruto votes as Mount Kenya did because according to Rigedi Geshagwa they feel that this this is a crafted plan to court the Mulembe nation and those who are supporting William Ruto feel that Cleopas Malala, who is the current uh, acting Secretary General, should be given that opportunity in the grassroots elections. They, 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 are, they are going to gang up and they are going to vote in Cleopas Malala. Because according to the Ruto camp, they feel that they want a party that has got a national outlook that uh, is represented by several ethnic groups so that it is not just the Kalenjins and the Kikuyus and so they are they, they, they are really watching for for the current acting Malala to become a fully fledged Secretary General after the elections and the reason why the the the, the, the camp is a bit apprehensive about Malala is like I've mentioned they feel that uh, of recent William Ruto has really conducted himself in a manner to suggest that he is quoting the Mulembe nation. They feel that William Ruto is quoting the Mulembe nation so that they can, they might kick, uh, the, the, the Ruto might abandon Rigedi Geshagwa and uh, the Mount Kenya because it's not sure about them. So they, f in, in, in their camp, they are fronting Dindi Nyoro to be the Secretary General. And the reason for this is very simple. They are reading from the history of our coalitions just before last year's elections the rift between the former president uhuru kenyatta and william ruto widened so much and be it became worse until there was a time when william ruto was not had no voice in the jubilee saying in fact uhuru kenyatta and the secretary the former secretary general rafael tuju were running were calling the shots and this you know prompted william Ruto, because i think it is william Ruto who started building his own camp and who felt that now that he was building his own camp he better went his way and william Ruto complained that he was pushed to the periphery and that is how they came up with the uda now regarding shagwa many many of his supporters feel that he does not have a party and so if they allow william Ruto to have their own secretary general then there will come a time when they might decide to kick him away uh, in in a manner that happened between william ruto and uh, uhuru kenyatta and so they want they are trying to avoid this by fronting dindi nyoro they are also fronting dindi nyoro to ensure that their interests are taken care of as i've said they feel they gave william ruto more votes compared to the other regions and so whenever the the, the, the the people on the table and decisions are being made they want dindi nyoro to take care of their interests because they feel that when dindi nyoro is there then people cannot make decisions that are not favorable
to Mount Kenya. Unlike when Malala is there and Malala is the Secretary General, they feel that sometimes they can be abandoned or neglected. The other thing is the idea of running away with the party as I have explained. They feel that if Ndindi Nyoro is the Secretary General, he will be the custodian of the UDA party certificates and he will be at the decision making table so that whenever there are plans to abandon Mount Kenya, then Ndindi Nyoro will leak the, this information to them. And so they want Ndindi Nyoro to be part and parcel of whatever is happening. While those the, 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 the Ruto camp feels that for it to be seen that this is not a Kikui and a Kalenjin party, they must include several ethnic groups within the party. There is also a general feeling that William Ruto has lined up his people whom he wants to be elected from the grassroots level all the way to the, to the party leader. And so the Rigedi Geshagwa camp feels that uh, if this is going to be the ploy, that they are not going to allow it. And so they want their own Secretary General who will be able to control them because they feel that if Malala is there, then Malala is going to work for William Ruto and he will be taking orders for William Ruto and he will be favoring maybe the Luya nation against the chagrin of the Mount Kenya. And this disunity, many experts feel that even though Rigedi Geshegwa says that they are joined with William Ruto at the hip, this joint is going to be broken because these people seem to be reading from different pages. When it comes to the shareholders narrative, William Ruto feels it is primitive. Rigadi Geshegwa says he's got no apology. In fact, Rigadi feels that since they gave William Ruto many votes, they should get the last share of uh, national cake sharing. When it comes to the bipartisan talks that uh, is happening in the Bumas, Rigadi Geshegwa does not want to hear anything to do with it, but William Ruto is supporting it for the obvious reasons that he wants two thirds gender rule to be achieved. He wants the CDF to be entrenched in the constitution. He wants the two offices, office of the opposition leader and office of the prime minister. But this is something that is really scaring Brigadier Shagwa. If there is going to be an official uh, office of a prime minister, it means that Musala Mdavadi and is going to be a big man. And this is what Brigadier Shagwa does not want. So ladies and gentlemen, this division is going to rock the boat from within. And as William Ruto said it, Keumanesai, that is what William Ruto wants. So that if Rigedi Geshegwa wants to run away with his team, let him run away now to allow William Ruto to build more political alignments before 2022. Because he knows very well that if this can happen towards the tail end, that it might rock this party. And the drama continues because there is a storm in the paradise.